first Christmas decorating in our house. We've been here about a year, but we did not decorate last Christmas because we had just moved in. We weren't gonna be in town for Christmas. We had to sort through moving boxes, all that stuff. So super exciting. I've got a, some new stuff and we'll use a little bit of my old stuff to decorate our first house. So I'll take you along with me. Okay, we've got the tree like maybe majority set up now. Uh, still need to do a little bit fine tuning. I also feel like we're missing a lot. <laughs> we could do a lot more ornaments. So I'll keep my eyes peeled for something and I'll kind of rearrange a little bit from what like my toddler did. But this is like the majority. Also, we're missing some ornament hooks. Like why would there be an ornament pack without ornament hooks? But anyway, so I have to go get ornament hooks. So we'll come back to this. But there's a couple other decorations that we do have and that we can put up for Christmas. <laughs> decorating with a toddler in tow not for the faint of heart so did realize that we are missing like our nativities and stuff I did not pull those out yet so have to do more Christmas decoration tomorrow but also kind of have to tidy our front room so this will be a couple day process and I'll just take you along with me for it all right so we are done decorating I think of course, I might make a little bit of tweaks, but we are all ready for the Christmas season and it's even snowing today, which is super, super fun. Uh, we have our tree all set up. I have added a couple more ornaments to it. We just were waiting on some ornament hooks. They didn't come in the box, so I can only hang up some of the boxes I had of ornaments, but we've got the rest up. 
We've hung up our garland. We've gotten all of our nativities out. So you'll be seeing B-roll of all of that. I have three different nativities from different countries. I've got one from Israel that my in-laws brought for us couple of years ago, I think, after they visited. I have one from the Philippines after I lived there in my early 20s. And then I also have one set from Ghana when I did a study abroad there while in college. So it's really fun to be able to have my international nativities out and to feel totally ready for the season. Our house is not 100% clean, so I apologize for that, but that's what life is like when both of us are working full time and we've got a toddler at home. So it is what it is and we can still celebrate the Christmas season. I'm thinking that I'm going to wrap all of our Christmas related books in wrapping paper because we had George's presents under the tree. I didn't want her to find them in my closet. So I already wrapped them, put them under the tree and she kept asking if she could open them. <laughs> so I hid them back away out of sight, out of mind. So she won't ask us like every 20 minutes if she can please, pretty please open a present. But I think that if I do this thing where I wrap all of her Christmas books and stack them from like largest to smallest in the shape of a little tree and then she can pick one out of there every day to unwrap and read. I think that she would really like that. So that's a project I'm hopefully going to be doing sometime soon. I got to throw on a good audiobook or a good movie and I will be wrapping. <laughs> but other than that, I think we are all set as far as decorations go. I hope that if you are celebrating any kind of holiday this season, that you're having a chance to decorate and to make your space feel nice and cozy and ready for whatever holiday you are celebrating. Until next time, happy making. Bye.